Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And for those of you that are new, I'm glad to have you here today. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of my students' most favorite manipulatives and some that are my favorite as well. I have a ton of them. I buy them a lot and I replenish them every year because let's admit it, sometimes they go missing and sometimes I just give it away to the students. So guys, in this video, let's go ahead and begin and see what some of these favorites are in the classroom. The first and most basic type of learning resources that my students love are these magnetic letters. You have all the letters in the alphabets. They're colorful, they're fun. And then you can basically set up the letters however you want them. You can give them enough letters to spell certain words. Maybe you want them to learn certain sight words. Maybe you want to build CBC words. Give them whichever letters you want, have it set up. And then it'll be like it was meant to be. They won't be overwhelmed and it makes it kind of fun. My students love these and sometimes I even have these on the sides of my bookshelves because they're metal and I just leave it there and sometimes I notice the kids randomly touching them and spelling basic words which is awesome to me so I don't say anything about it and it's just a fun basic item to have in your classroom so I highly recommend having some type of letters or alphabets in your classroom. Another type of manipulative that I love for my students to use are these centimeter cubes. And honestly, they look really basic and boring, except for the fact that they're colorful. But my students love them. They love stacking them, counting them, sorting them. Like, I'll just give it to them and I won't say anything and they'll just start sorting them by color. It's pretty amazing to see. What I usually do is I put them into sets of 20 inside of this little lock top snack container I got from the Dollar Tree. And I have the kids count them out as they take them out one by one. And then after that, I let them sort it by color. And when you get to that point, there's so many things you can do. You can have them sort it by color. You can have them next arrange them from least to greatest. You can have them add different colored cubes. There's so many different things you can do. Count two by two, count by threes, fours, fives, whatever. There's so many different things you can do. And my students just love this. I'm teaching summer school right now and we've been using these and then I had them on the table and I hadn't been using it that day. And then the kids saw it, they're like, oh yay, there are the cubes. So of course I let them work with them for about a couple of minutes basically just had them count it out sort them stack them go from least to greatest which one's greater which one is less than and it was fun so i highly recommend these centimeter cubes because the students seem to absolutely love it and there's so much you can do with it i have six sets of 20 centimeter cubes in here because i have six students in summer school right now but I'm thinking I am just going to go ahead and make a whole classroom set of these because these students love it. Another item my students seem to absolutely love are these Judy clocks. I keep them in the Starlight container just because they fit so nicely. So if you're wondering how to contain them, you can definitely put them in here. And here is what they look like. They can be flat like this and I usually have my students just use them flat on their tables but if you wanted to you can actually stand them up because it does come with a little stand. These are amazing the hands stay where they're supposed to stay and it's easy for the students to count out the minutes and just see and touch like a good visual like this is amazing for the students when they're trying to learn time and minutes and so on so yes the Judy clocks are another item I highly recommend you get for your students, especially if they're learning how to tell time like my first graders are. And here they are all nicely inside of my Starlight container. And as you can see, they fit perfectly standing up. Another amazing item that my students love are magnetic numbers. Now they use alphabets, but they love the numbers as well. And they're perfect for doing math. 
Now, these are magnetic, but we don't use them on a board or anything. We just use them on the tables when we do small groups, and it works really nicely. The students can recognize the numbers. They can place them in order from least to greatest. They can add, subtract, because nowadays these magnetic numbers come with the symbols as well. So these are so awesome, and my students love using them. They love looking for the numbers. They love grouping, sorting. They just love them and they're so fun and colorful. And these were from Target's Dollar Spot, I believe a year ago. The next item we use a lot of in the classroom are these double-sided counters. You can see one side is red, the other side is yellow. And this is amazing. You can give a student maybe 10 of these, just have them count it. You can have them then maybe just kind of toss them, not really toss them, but you know, just drop them and then count how many yellows there are, how many reds there are and add them up. Or you can say you have 10 minus out the yellows, how many reds you have left, you know, that sort of thing. There's so many things you can do with this. And you know, you don't have to stop at 10. You can of course go to 20, you can go to 100, whatever you want. I feel like these counters are perfect for students who are just learning how to do addition and subtraction and basic counting. So this is another item I highly recommend in the classroom. And what I usually do is I sort them. Well, I don't sort them, but I put a certain amount inside of these laptop snack containers and then I pass them out to the students. Usually I'll do 20, but maybe in the beginning I'll start with 10. But these are amazing for the students because they get to visualize, see, touch, feel, the whole thing and it's great for them to learn with. The next item that my students absolutely love are these fraction tiles. And these are amazing because you can see that one whole is done in red, one half is done in pink, and you can see that they actually half it. So you have two, two halves to make a whole, and then one third, you can see it takes three of those to make a hole, and they're in orange, and so on. You get one fourth, one fifth, one sixth. We don't have one seventh, one eighth, there's no one ninth, and then we have one tenth, there's no one eleventh, and then there's one twelfth. So my students love this. They think they're playing with it when they see it just because it's so cute. It's like a rainbow, but in reality, they're learning, and in first grade, we do teach fractions, so this is awesome for the students to have, and they love it. It's a great way for them to learn, because they think they're playing. To store these, I just keep them in the original Ziplocs that they come in, and then I just put them inside of one of my Sterilite containers that has the lids that snap close. Another item that's easy to find and one that's really great for math is dice. What I like to do is give a student a pair of dice and then they can roll them and add them or subtract them, whatever you want to do. And something I like to do is to put them inside of these little containers. I get them from the Dollar Tree. I think they're 10 for a dollar. I can't recall because I've had these for a while. But you put two dice in them, and that way when the student rolls the dice, they can just basically shake these containers, and then you don't have to worry about the dice flying all over the room or hitting another student or losing them because they're in this container. Some people actually hot glue the containers or they just glue it, but I haven't glued it yet. I'm just leaving it as is. And here's a look at it. So the student would shake it upside down like this and whatever it lands on, that's their number. So I have a four and three. So you could basically do four plus three equals so I think this is fun for the students and they love it. Again, it's just like playing a game to them and they don't realize they're learning, but they are. They just see themselves playing a game and trying to figure out what's their score. So this is super fun to have. I also wanted to mention that recently at Target Dollar Spot, they have these eight sided dice that I bought and I am loving it because now instead of just going up to six, 
we can add bigger numbers. So I kind of like that, so I bought that. But your basic six-sided dice is fine, but there are many different types of dice out there. And if you wanted to go with higher numbers, you can even find them on places like Amazon or eBay. But the ones I found at Target Dollar Spot goes up to number eight. So I am loving that for now. Another great item to have during math or dominoes. They're not just for stacking or playing with, but you see how dominoes has their dots split like that. In math, we use a lot of dots so that students can recognize the numbers faster. And so that's something awesome about this. They can figure out how many dots there are, or you can take it up a notch and have them actually add the two different sides. See how we have two green dots, four red dots. You can have them add two plus four equals six, or you could do the part part whole part of it has two the other part has four and the whole number is six how awesome are these dominoes my kids love them they're cute colorful fun and by the way these dominoes are actually smaller than the regular dominoes and they came from the dollar tree for just a dollar so i think that's an awesome find if you can find it because it doesn't take up as much room as regular dominoes Another great item to use during math, especially when you're learning place values, are these base 10 blocks. And basically what you get are these little individual ones that count as ones. Then you have these longer sticks that actually total up to 10. They look like 10 of those little blocks. And then you have these larger ones that actually total up to 100. There are 100 of the little blocks, or what looks like it. There are 10 of these sticks, and then the total thing comes out to 100. So this is great for the students because they can see it, touch it, visualize it, and it's a great way to learn. And as you can see, I just have them bagged up and separated. I have the ones and tens together, and then the hundreds right there. And these are great for my first graders to use because a lot of times it is so hard for them to understand what I mean when I'm saying 10 of these 10 units, 10 of an item together equal to 10. Does that make sense? I don't know, but you know what I mean. So yeah, this is great for the students to have so that they can actually visualize it themselves. Here is a look at my next item and these are pattern blocks. I love to use this with my students because they can learn so much from it they can learn how to sort the blocks they can learn about the different colors they can learn about different shapes and what's great about this is that these shapes are actually meant to fit together i just placed these shapes together and you see how they fit it's perfect for students to be able to use their imaginations and create something from it. The next item that I'm showing you are these Unifex cubes and these are amazing to have in class. You can do so much with them and they're not just regular cubes but they actually interlock so you can stack them as well and you can have students count them, sort them, create different sequences, recognize the different colors, add, subtract. There are so many things that your student can do with this and my students love it. It starts out for them as a game. They just play with it like a toy. And then pretty soon I notice they start creating different sequences. And we teach them about patterns and then eventually counting. And then we also do adding, subtracting, and so on. This is such an amazing learning tool. Another great item I found at Target's Dollar Spot are these little building blocks. They look like hashtags to me, so I like to call them hashtags, but they're known as building blocks. And they came with 72 pieces for a dollar, so I bought a ton of them. And I actually mixed up all the different colorways they got, just because they all look so good together. And my students love using this. We use it for a lot of STEM activities. And I just let the kids go to town. Anytime I see them, I buy them. I don't buy all of them, but I always buy one or two extra packs every time I see them.
When we do writing in class, sometimes I like for my students to free write, and that's where these little figurines come into play. These are amazing because a lot of times my students are so stuck on what to write, and sometimes it gets boring writing the same thing over and over, so I'll have the kids pull maybe two or three of these little figurines and then they create a story based on what they pull. They come up with the most amazing stories so little figurines like this even though they just look like a toy they work amazing to build your students imagination and they work great as different writing prompts when your students are stuck so I always pick up maybe one or two sets if I find anything new. Another great item to use for STEM activities are these building blocks. I got these from Target's Dollar Spot for a dollar per pack of 72, and they sell the building blocks that look like Legos also at the Dollar Tree right now. And these are so great for STEM activities. You can have the students build the house to save the three little pigs from the wolf. You could have them build a bridge for the goats to go over things like that you know there's so many fun things you can do and it's great to see the students use their imagination to create items using basic building blocks it gets them really thinking the next item that i use in my classroom during math is fake money these came from lakeshore and actually one of the teachers who was leaving the school and they were retiring let me have their fake money and I was so happy because these look so good. And all I did was I laminated them so that way if my students touched them and did something, wet them, marked them, they'd still be good. And it comes with coins as well and look at how realistic these coins are. Students need to learn about money now. They're going to be seeing it, using it, they're going to need it. You know forever in their lives and these are awesome another great item to have in your classroom are flashcards and i love to use them a lot especially you know sometimes towards the end of the day or towards the beginning of a lesson or even in small groups i love these this is great to have flashcards it could be for math it could be for sight words it could be for high frequency words whatever you want i think I think that flashcards are a great tool in the classroom and it's just something fun for the students to Finally, do. Finally, this is the last item I'm showing you, but of course there are way more than this. Are these mini erasers? I love getting them from Target's Dollar Spot because what I do is, besides giving them to my students as rewards, we use them for counting a lot. Just your basic counting, one to a hundred or we count by twos, we count by fives, we count by tens, we sort, we stack. There's so many things you can do with the mini erasers and they're so cute, especially because they always manage to match up their eraser themes with whatever holidays coming up. So I love that and my students do too. These erasers here came during spring and so I used it then. But these are amazing, the students love them, and they're little. Plus, because they're erasers, they don't make a loud noise, so these are great for math. So that was a quick look at some of the favorite different learning resources and manipulatives in my classroom that my students love to use and that I love to use with them as well. Now, there are a ton more, and of course, I didn't show you every single thing that I have, but it's a good start. and. I just love, love, love looking for them. I love going to Target's Dollar Spot because they always come up with some amazing learning resources and manipulatives. And if you want to see the most recent finds I've had from Target's Dollar Spot, then check out that video for sure because they came out with a ton this summer. Well, guys, that is it for my video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, guys.